And today, we're going to be talking about fungicides. Let's get right into it. What's up guys, Aiden here, Aislon Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Are you having a great day? I don't know. Leave it down in the comments down below. But today, we're gonna be talking about fungicides. Got my Scott's Disease X, and it prevents broad spectrum disease and prevention and control. It con controls brown patch and other common lawn diseases. Um, let's see. Bag weight, 10 pounds. As you can see that there. Active ingredient is that. Let's see if you can see that. It focuses. There you go. I think you say that actutropsin. Anyway, it says here, fast acting starts working in 24 hours. Anyway, let's get right into how to apply it. Um. Brown patch, red thread, you can see the entire list, stuff it covers right there. Let's see, it says preventative rate, we want two pounds per thousand square feet. Um, it looks like it shows you how to do it on the Scott's Whiz Spreader, the Scott's Drop Spreader, and the Scott's Broadcast Spreader, setting three and three quarters. You can see the settings going right across for that. So let's go ahead and do that. It says four pounds per thousand here four pounds per thousand and four pounds per thousand. So our spreader is gonna be very similar to this. So we're gonna go with right between at these two, right at three pounds per thousand. And the bag covers 5,000 square feet. That's all the information you need to know right there. But let's get hood and get this down. Okay guys, so I just finished putting down the fungicide in the backyard. I wanted to tell everybody I did spray weeds in the backyard yesterday. I'll show you all the patches I sprayed. That's a patch of clover, that's a patch of clover, that's a patch, 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 that's a patch. So all the clover will be gone in those spots. They're semi-small spots. They're like two foot wide by three foot small, but I'm, um, or three foot wide and three foot tall-ish. I mean, not tall, but three by three-ish. And um, I have this really big patch in the backyard that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about. It's in the back back of the backyard. I have one of two options. I need you guys to give me your input on these options in the comments down below. Option one, we get a lot of weed killer and we spray the entire patch off and in the fall we seed it. So, I mean, that would probably be the easiest route. You would still have a little bit of grass left, but all the clover would be gone and it would need a lot of seeding. Wait until I show you the spot. Option two, we dig the whole thing out and reseed from the beginning and try to prevent weeds from there. So, an option three is, I don't know. I don't have an option three. I was just saying that to say that. Anyway, let me show you this patch of clover. It is insane and I am not sure what I'm gonna do about it. I've completely neglected the backyard based on the front side and you guys need to tell me what we need to do to get this backyard in tip-top shape. Let me show it to you right now.
Do you see that? I'm gonna put the camera down right here. I'm gonna walk to the end of it. Think of this camera as the start of the clover patch. Okay. Now I'm gonna walk to the end of it. It's massive. I just did the measurement. It is 15 foot long, six foot wide, straight up clover. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I will pick up a clip of me just walking through this clover right after this clip here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Other than that, I mean, the rest of the backyard looks pretty good. Oh, it's a little bare. And you have your minor clover patches that we all sprayed yesterday. And you know, all in here looks good. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You guys have to let me know because I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So, I'll show you that clip and we'll get this blown off and we'll wrap up this video. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. I will show you the lawn real quick and show you. It's a little dark, but we haven't had a weed problem up front yet. It is not as patchy as it looks on camera. It is actually not patchy at all. Maybe if I, let's see it. If I walk through it, you can tell that it's not too patchy at all. Just give you a little walk around like that. But um. I thought I'd show you the competitor I have next door real quick. Her property starts right here. A little bit of weed invasion right here. Big clover patch here. Walking through here. We had a dig up here and as you can see down in there, just a, a really bad contractor mix was used. Down in here, some more weeds. Definitely a, a bare spot down in there. Another patch of clover up there. So I mean, it's just hard soil, so you gotta keep it loosened, you know? I don't know if you can see that out there. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you this video. Uh, if you have any other video ideas, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Answer some of the questions I had in the video, you know? We've got some awesome content coming for you, and what I think is the right video. If you see what I did there, leave a comment down below. Well, that's all I have for you guys. With that, I'm Aiden from A's Lawn Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.